What's up, my friend DK here. Welcome to the channel and thank you for checking out this Builder All tutorial and review. Today we're talking about Mailing Boss and specifically I want to show you just some subtle differences. I know I've had other videos like this uh, here in this training series and I just want to show you I'm starting to get more and more familiar with Mailing Boss 5.0 because as I've uh, stated in other videos and if you want more information on that, if you're just kind of coming in halfway through here, link in the description down below, you can see the whole training series that I've done inside of Builderall. So I'll head here over to my channel and just kind of show you uh, what we've done here. So I have a whole training series on Builderall and really the last few videos here from kind of like the bonus on down are really about 5.0, Mailing Boss 5.0 compared to Mailing Boss 4.0. And as I go through and I get more and more comfortable and more and more used to uh, Mailing Boss 5.0, I've been filming these little videos showing you guys little tips, techniques, moving your list over, kind of hacks and little things like that. And that's exactly what this video is. So I want to show you a difference between kind of looking at different emails that you would write and being able to quickly look at those versus you know, from 4.0 over to 5.0. So at, what do I mean by that really? There's, for me, there's really two different types of emails that you're gonna send, okay? You're gonna write a daily broadcast, which me, I, I email my list every single day. So those emails, I literally type up daily, I queue them up, I get them sent out, right? And then you have sequence. Now here's the difference. In 4.0, these were sequence emails. So as an example, if you would come over here in a workflow, if you were in a workflow, and I'll show you a perfect example of this, right? So you got a workflow, we'll take this one here. You can see right here, it says email sequence. Now you build out your email sequence in the workflow, okay? And that's when someone opts into one of your capture pages, the list ties to the workflow, they opt in, they're automatically put into the workflow and they go out and the email sequence goes out in whatever order you set it up, right? Anyone that's familiar with Mailing Boss 4.0 or have used it in the past would kind of know that's how you would set it up, right? Now, let me show you what that looks like over here in 5.0. So we'll go into a workflow. I'm going to go into basically the same exact workflow and just show you this is the same exact thing, except it's going to look a little bit different. Visually, obviously, it looks different, but instead of this being a sequence email, these are campaigns. These are campaigns that I had to manually write and then add them in here one at a time, okay? But the process is still the same. Someone goes to your capture page, they opt in, they go into the workflow and they get a series of emails. Now, again, the series, the emails in here are exactly the same as they are over here. It just looks visually a little different. And the big difference between the two is inside 4.0, it's called a sequence email. Inside of 5.0, it's a campaign email. Now, here's what's cool. When you're over in 4.0, okay, so if I go here to up at the top campaigns and I want to see, I can select either all emails, okay, and I can look at literally like every email I've, I've ever written, or I can, uh, I can break it down by sequence emails. So if I specifically want to see a sequence email, but there isn't a difference between say a broadcast or a campaign that's just kind of lumped into all emails and the only differentiator they have is the email sequence. So now you can see the different email sequences that I have. So that's how you look at it in 4.0. Here's what's really cool over in 5.0 is they have that instead of having it on two different screens, the way that they have it in 4.0, they literally have it in two different screens right here, all emails or email sequence. So over here in 5.0, you have this right here, it says filter by type. You can literally hit that drop down and you can look at it, regular broadcast. So if I select regular broadcast, here's all the broadcasts I've sent. The little you know, blue sent means the email already went out. These two here are pending, meaning one's going out tonight, one's going out tomorrow, okay? So if I wanted to go and I wanted to see how a specific campaign did, I would literally just kind of come over here, click on that, hit overview, et cetera. And say okay cool how'd this do 25.9 percent open rate 1.74 percent click-through rate very good solid metrics right but what if i wanted to look at some an email that i have in a workflow but it's i wrote this months ago and it's buried way down in here i'd have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll 
or I could type in my name or I could quickly go here and I could look at my campaigns. Again, remember campaign 5.0, sequence 4.0, little, little difference right there. So I can now I can see I have three different workflows and I can quickly see those emails right here. So this is laid out here, similar how your sequences are laid out here over in 4.0. Again, visually, it just looks a little bit different, but all your, you know, your sequences, AKA campaigns over here are all the same. So I can see if I wanted to see how a specific workflow was performing in the, in the workflow that I literally just uh, shared with you, which is kind of my main one right now would be this one right here. Okay. So if I want to see how that is, I literally just go up to the top. Okay. And I filter it by either campaign or, you know, whatever it is, but now you have that option right here. You can see that all in one page. So I just want to create this quick video and show you that if you're using mailing boss 5.0, and I know I have a few folks that are on my team uh, that are also using mailing boss and they're either a they're integrating from they're going from 4.0 over to 5.0 and they're trying to figure out all these little nuances so some of the reason for recording the videos is literally just to kind of help uh, people on my team but obviously i know i've had uh, lots of you out there on youtube land uh, comment that you guys have gotten value from these mailing boss videos so anytime i discover something new here in either a builder all or in the new mailing boss 5.0 then I will be recording these little videos and just showing you some of these little differences, nuances, and subtleties between uh, one and the other. So that is it for this video. Now, friendly reminder, uh, when you go over here to the main Builderall site, guys, you can see here, it says up here, um, Mailing Boss 4.0 is basically going away, right? So they're ending all support at the end of this year. They're ending basically the 4.0 platform uh, end of life policy, same thing. So support and 4.0 system goes away at the end of this year. So if you haven't migrated over yet uh, from 4.0 over to 5.0, I have some other videos uh, right here in my series, link in the description down below. You can go and, and check out this whole uh, training series and you can see there's some little tips I have about moving your list from Mailing Boss 4.0 over to 5.0. Other than that, my friends, that is it. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you would. I would truly appreciate it. It means more to me than you know. And if you want more free training or you want to see what else I do here on my channel, uh, again, hit that subscribe button. Also head over to my channel. You'll see I have several free training series, uh, how I make a full-time income right here from home, my home in Haverhill, Mass, how I do that in literally one hour per day. I have my uh, YouTube university where I show you literally how to rank YouTube videos, how to start a channel from scratch, how to monetize your channel, how to make literally thousands per month with YouTube, just like I do. I show you that step-by-step. That's step. all 100% free. Lots of free training series here over on my channel. If you're looking for daily motivation, we get everybody from Steve Jobs to Earl, uh, Earl Nightingale, Art Williams, um, Think and Grow Rich, all that sort of stuff. Lots of free content over here on my channel to go check that out. But other than that, my friends, Appreciate you. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you. I truly appreciate you for being here watching. And if you would subscribe, that would mean the world to me. And also do me a favor, drop a comment if you got any value from this video or let me know any questions that you have about Builderall, Mailing Boss, or making money online. And I will see you, my friend, on the next video. Take care.